In this presentation, we will understand a few string operators in Python. So, without any further delay, let's get started and let's see what are the different topics we will understand in this presentation. The first topic we need to understand is string concatenate operator and the second topic is string repetition operator. In this presentation, we will understand these two operators one by one. Let's first start with string concatenate operator. What is the meaning of string concatenate operator and what it does? String concatenate operator or plus concatenates two strings at a time. So, string concatenate operator can help us in concatenating two strings at a time. Concatenation means combining. So, concatenate operator can combine strings for us. Plus operator in context with strings is called concatenate operator and plus operator in context with numbers is called the arithmetic plus operator which we are well familiar with. Now, let's consider one example to understand how we can concatenate two or more strings in Python. Now, I am in my command prompt and I have activated the interactive shell as well. We need to type Python and we need to hit enter in order to activate the interactive shell. Now, here, let's type this command A plus B plus C. Here, I have used two concatenate operators to combine these three strings. The result will be ABC as expected. We have total three strings with one character each in these strings. If we use plus operators between them, we would be able to concatenate these strings, we would be able to combine these strings in other words. When we hit enter, we will get this string as a result, we will get ABC as a result. So, if we are interested in combining three strings at a time, we need to use two concatenate operators. If let's say we are interested in combining ten different strings at a time, we need to use nine concatenate operators. Right now, we are interested in combining these three characters. That is why we have used two concatenate operators. But note that one concatenate operator can combine only two strings. Now, let's type this command x equal to i. So, we are providing this name x to the string with just one character i. Now, if we hit enter, we will not get any error message, of course. Let's type y equal to m. So, we have another string and we have variable y pointing to the string. Now, let's hit enter and let's type z equal to just breathe. We need to add this full stop also. So, we have total three variables x, y and z. x is pointing to the string, y is pointing to the string and z is pointing to the string. Now, in place of these three strings, we can use these three variables. So, let's hit enter and let's type x plus y plus z. Now, if we hit enter, we will get this string. As expected because x is pointing to this string, hence at runtime, this will get replaced by this string. y is pointing to this string containing two characters a and m. At runtime, y will get replaced by this string. At runtime, z will get replaced by this string. If we hit enter after typing this command, we will get I am just breathe with full stop as a result. And note that the string that we will get as a result will always be wrapped within single quotes. This is how Python produces results. I hope this is clear. So, this is the exact idea on how to concatenate two or more strings in Python. Note that if you are interested in adding spaces between I am and am just breathe, then we need to add space after I and we need to add space after M here. Or alternatively, we can add space before M and space before just breathe. That way also we can create a string with spaces between these two strings and these two strings. So, this is all we need to understand about string concatenate operator. Let's move on to the next topic that is string repetition operator. So, what is string repetition operator? String repetition operator star 
as name itself suggests, creates multiple copies of the string. So, string repetition operator helps us in creating multiple copies of the string. For this, we need to provide some value to it. Along with the string, we need to provide some value in order to create multiple copies of the string. For example, if n is an integer and s is a string, then n star s and s star n will yield the same result. Note that n is that integer which helps us in creating multiple copies of s. So, with n we can decide how many copies of s we want. So, we can write n star s or s star n. Order does not matter. Both will create n copies of s. So, let's say if we have n equal to 3, then in that case, 3 star s will create 3 copies of s. And similarly, s star 3 also create 3 copies of s. And in order to make it more clear, let's consider one specific example. Right now, I am in my interactive shell and I am ready to type in the command. So, let's type 3 star just breathe. Here, n is 3 and s is this string just breathe. So, 3 star just breathe will create 3 copies of just breathe. But we will not get separate copies of the string. We'll get the concatenated result. We'll get this result if we hit enter. We will get just breathe, just breathe, just breathe concatenated together. So, this is the final result we will get. Now, if we type just breathe star 3 and if we hit enter, we will get this string on the screen. Again, we will get the same string. It does not matter in which order we will write. We can write n star s or we can write s star n. Here, we have followed this format of n star s. Here, we are following this format s star n. In both the cases, we will get this string. Now, let's consider few more examples to make this concept more concrete. What happens if we write 0 star just breathe? It makes sense to provide positive values to n to create some copies of s. If we are interested in creating, let's say, 10 copies, we can provide 10 to n. But what if we provide 0 to n? 0 means we are not interested in receiving any copies of this string, which means we will get an empty string as a result. So if we hit enter, we will get empty string. 0 means no copies. Now, what if we provide a negative value in place? We can write s star n or n star s, it does not matter. In place of n, we have minus 4. It does not make any sense to create minus 4 copies of just breathe. Python will not throw any error in this case, but it will give you an empty string. So, if we provide negative value to n, or if we provide 0 to n, in both the cases, we will get an empty string. So, this is all about string repetition operator. String repetition operator always helps us in creating multiple copies of the string. We need to provide some value to n, and in this way, we would be able to create multiple copies of s. So, n star s will create n copies of s. Similarly, s star n also creates n copies of s. So, how many copies we will get of s will totally depend on the value of n. Okay, this means we are done with this topic also, that is string repetition operator. We have learned what is string concatenate operator. We have understood how it can help us in concatenating two or more strings. Also, we have learned what is string repetition operator which helps us in creating multiple copies of a string. So, this means we are done with this lecture. Okay friends, this is it for now. Thank you for watching this presentation. I'll see you in the next one.